Apple's got a problem. Is it a big problem as far as problems go? Probably not a big problem, but it is a very irritating problem, and Apple has the problem with its greatest supporters. Those of us who purchased the MacBook Pro, their newest, fastest, best computer that we've been waiting for forever, and the problem is the notch. Now, this is not a new problem. Apple's had the notch problem before in their iPhones. So what is the notch, you might be wondering, if you are not a Macintosh user or an iPhone user? The notch is a little area on the iPhone screen and now on the MacBook Pro screen where Apple has hidden a camera, a great little FaceTime camera. It's a good camera, but it's using up screen real estate because that's where the lens is, is behind it. So it's not available for display. Doesn't seem on the surface like that's all that big a deal, does it? But it turns out it is. Because for those of us who use the MacBook, uh, we lose the screen real estate for all of our different menu items. And I don't know about you, but I have a lot of menu items. And Apple has not given us an elegant way to work around the problem. Oh, there is a fix. You can go in and application by application, tell that application to put all of the menu bar items beneath the notch which reduces the amount of screen real estate you have. That is a solution which frankly sucks. (sighs) But I've got a better solution. I've got a solution that will work for most of us. It's not perfect, but it's pretty darn good, and I will share it with you today on Dottotech. Steve Dotto here. How the heck you doing this fine day? And today I am going to go on a bit of a rant. I know you think I've already been on a bit of a rant in in the, the, the when I started out today, but I'm going to continue that rant for a few minutes because frankly, it's kind of irresponsible of Apple to have done this, to have released this uh, this flawed a situation without some form of remedy. And third parties have come to the rescue to help rescue us. But this notch situation is a bigger issue than I than I realized when I, certainly when I bought my MacBook Pro. And here's the thing that kind of exacerbates it all for us. When you look at a person's MacBook Pro, yeah, I'll show you some images of MacBook Pros, you see the notch right there. There's the notch and you can see the problem just right out in front of you. Yet when you go to Apple's site where they sell us the very expensive computer, all of the beautiful graphics that Apple shares with us on the site, none of them show the notch. There's no notch anywhere on any of the images that Apple shows us. We can't see the notch on any of the screenshots. It doesn't look like it's a problem. Why would you ever think that there's a problem with the notch when you look at that particular screen there? You don't think there is, but there is because all of the menu items that should be there are going to be blocked or some of them are going to be blocked by the notch. So what can we do about it, Steve? Cut to the chase. Give me the answer. How are we going to solve it? There's a nice little utility and it's been around for a long time called Bartender and it's up to version four. Bartender four is the solution. And here is what Bartender four does. Bartender four creates sub menu bars. Is that a way to call it? Yeah, I'd go say sub menu bars. Here it is here installed on my Mac. And you can see here, there's three dots. That's a little menu bar item. When we click on that, what it does is it drops down and it gives us access to more menu bar items. So it allows us to truncate the number that we have on screen. So when we have our, when we're in notebook mode, right now I'm in desktop mode, I've got it on a large monitor, but when we're in notebook mode in our notebook mode, it sounds funny, notebook mode and our computer is open, we can choose just the most vital menu items to have available to us, menu bar items to have available to us, but we can still have access to all of the others through this drop down menu. And how do we manage it? I'll right click on it. I will open the preferences. And this is the bartender for preferences. It cost me $20 Canadian. I think it's $15 US. I'll have a link in the description below, but this is the kind of the working, uh, the working area. It's a nice little simple interface where you can go in and you can choose which menu bar items you want to have at any particular time. So you can see here that these are the ones that I've, I have of Dropbox. I've got text expander. I've got uh, my clipboard tool. I've got Camtasia, which I use for recording. I've got them there, but if I wanted to say add ever note to the menu bar i can just grab it here drag it up drop it and you'll see it appear here in the top menu bar and you can reorganize the bar to your heart's content to make it work for you and as you can see there's lots of room to add lots of extra menu bar items here it's a simple tool it's elegant it works well and it solves a problem that should not have been a problem bartender four we shouldn't have to buy it 
But you know, sometimes even if you don't have one of the new Macs with a notch, you'll still sometimes run out of space in the menu bar and Bartender 4 will work for you as well. That's Bartender 4. I'll have links in the description below. I hope you found today's video to be useful, and if you found it so, please, a like and a share is greatly appreciated. And if you've not yet subscribed to our channel, now is a good time to do so. By the way, we do a weekly free tutorial webinar each week on some area of productivity or content creation called Webinar Wednesday. The link is right here. Join us. I think you'll enjoy it. Till next time, I'm Steve Dotto. Have fun storming a castle.